Hi hi, it has been requested that I react to the new Will You Snail tool assisted speedrun. I have not seen this yet, so I'm watching this blind. Took me a while <laughs> to get around to it and I'm very curious to see it. Yeah, I know, reaction videos are very easy to make. I'm just I'm just gonna sit here and be like Okay. Emmy and Merchen. Sounds like a little bit like sounds like a German name. Could be German folks. Okay, using the Shortcut route that makes sense. All all jumps absolutely perfect. I guess except for like that super fast menu clicking at the beginning, everything is still doable. I would say doable from a by a human speedrunner. Even this probably still doable. Oh, and it seems like they're using some sort of plugin or tool that shows them exactly how many frames it took them. So next to the timers, it seems like they got a frame counter. So I've actually not seen that. Okay, that was really fast up there. Holy crap. I've never seen anybody get up there that quickly. Obviously quicking all, uh, skipping all of the voice lines from Squid as quickly as possible. Skip, skip, skip. That was incredibly fast. Okay, flawless execution here as well. I'm just fly, zooming, completely zooming through the levels. Immediately skipping all voice lines. I almost assume the voice line skipping, skipping is part of the tool or, or, or just does that automatically with the mod they wrote. I don't know what tool this is. Is it a homemade tool? Did you make this tool? Oh! That was insanely fast. So it seems like that's where you can really... Okay, extremely efficient as well. But it really seems like that's where you can save a lot of time when jumping up somewhere. Because if you get it pixel perfect, then... Oh, that was such a risky jump! Jumping right into that enemy here. The enemy was still there. That was so risky. <laughs> Jesus! Holy hell, an instant boss skip. There, there was not even a frame where we saw that explosion animation. It just instantly skipped. Wow. Skipping the puzzles, of course. Yeah, yeah. Now zooming through those story sections. We didn't even see Squid pop up here because the voice lines were skipped so quickly. <laughs> so I wonder how do these tool assisted speedruns work exactly? Is it like, I imagine it probably like, um, you're probably playing in slow motion, right? So probably reducing the frame rate so you can control more precisely. And then maybe you also have a tool that allows you to rewind or to quick save so you can don't have to retry the entire level when you mess up. I assume it's something like that, right? But I actually have no clue. But it does look freaking impressive. And it's a crap ton, I think. I'm, we ha we'll have to check how fast the the current world record for the speedrun is without tools. Because I wonder what the difference there is between tool assisted speedrun and the current world record. Because I imagine it's probably <laughs> probably quite a bit, probably maybe even a minute or two difference. Because this is crazy efficient. Holy hell, every time you're jumping up somewhere, it just super super fast. And no that is an incredibly difficult trick what we just saw there. All of the timings per absolutely perfect and spot on. Just so you know, right? Usually this game when I play through it takes takes me at least What the hell was that? I've never seen that exploit. Rewatch, rewatch. Ah, that's such a clever way of solving this. Cause you get an additional shot when you jump, so you just they just jumped really quickly in the tiny little gap there and because there's a ceiling on top of them it basically allows you to jump very very quickly okay 
Gladys Big Brain. Now here's where it gets interesting. Here we get to the water levels. And the controls are quite different in the water levels. So there's the skill ceiling, I feel like, for the movement in the water levels is quite a bit higher because it's a lot more momentum based. And yeah, we saw them gathering a little bit of momentum before going around the curve there. That definitely saves a little bit of time. Yep, yep, that was pretty much as efficient as it's gonna get. Mm-hmm. And gathering momentum before the corner here. Uh, maybe could have gathered a little more momentum there, but yeah, that down there was very efficient. <laughs> That's more or less the normal solution to this level, so nothing too sp special here. Yeah. I mean, I guess you also have to get a little bit lucky in these kind of levels here. Maybe... Maybe the tool they wrote also allows them to reset the random seed of the game so the traps always spawn in the same position or something like that. Holy crap! That was fast. No way. Oh, no way. Okay, that's... Holy crap. Baby Squid doesn't stand a chance in these races here. In these levels you gotta reach the finish line for the enemy does and yeah it's <laughs> not even close obviously they're playing on the easiest difficulty but that's still crazy crazy fast you're just swooping through there in one go yeah but as i said earlier this game takes about at least two hours or so to finish when i play it on the easiest difficulty maybe it takes me an hour or an hour 30 to finish when you play it for the first time it's it's about a four hour game, depending on the difficulty you play on. So, finishing this in 12 minutes or whatever this is, that's... That's insanity. That was so efficient as well. I can't believe it! This is the longest level in the game, so I'm... Looking forward on seeing the solution here. Taking the shortcut. Taking all of the water currents up there. Okay, that, yeah. I don't think it's, there's a way to do it much more efficiently than this. Dodging all of, all of the water currents to get to the bottom as quickly as possible. And then just getting down there. I wonder, what's the most efficient solution they found here? Uh, there, I can't help but wonder that there's probably some room for improvement there. In that last level. Oh, there's a spot where they can use the exploit again, the fast shooting exploit. No, but it doesn't seem to pay off. And then even the risky jump towards Mama Squid in the end. All of the boss fights look like such a joke <laughs> in this tool assisted speedrun. Man, that's really cool that you took the time to make this. This is this is really awesome. I'm very happy that I'm watching this and. Also very cool that I'm watching this blind, so you get my raw, unfiltered reaction. <coughs> Squid just chilling in the background there, and yeah, he's just not saying anything. I assume because all of the voice lines are skipped immediately. Immediately. All of that is difficult to do. Mm, yeah, yeah. But you, but like a human can do this if, if if you get lucky or if you have a lot of practice. This level as well. There's you know there's not really any way you can do this all that much faster. But whoo! For these basketball levels, we're gonna see some insane trick shots now. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! Oh in between of the enemies. Oh man! What color scheme is this? Definitely, I don't think it's one of the default color schemes, or is it? Ah, uh, not sure. Okay, okay. Whenever you're jumping up somewhere, it just f looks like you're flying. <laughs> Turning this into a racing game. What? 
Wait, 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 what, why? What the frick? <clears throat> ah! God damn it, you're using the respawn time of the bubble to get on top of the bubble. What? What the f That was a boss fight. The two seconds you just saw there, that was... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did not know you could do that. I did not know that. It looks it looks a little difficult to do, luckily. Otherwise that would be a bug that we would have to fix, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it's super straightforward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here there's not really much you can do to speed this up. You'll just have to I run all the way over here and then run through that other story section. <laughs> and it all seems very empty and lifeless because all of the voice lines are just skipped and don't even appear. So it's like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> what the hell's going on? Zoom up that hill. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> oh. oh, holy crap. How lucky do you have to get? Oh, damn. Just zooming through the levels. Okay, I'm very curious to see this. <gasps> no way. Just pressing all of the buttons in one go. That is, imp that is literally impossible to do. I've never seen anybody pull that off. Snowman's just jumping over the top. Yeah, I knew it. Just using the speedrun skip. I've seen that in some other speedruns before. Mm hmm. Yeah, possible if you get lucky. That was the fastest solution that was okay that was fast everything very fast na 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 what 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 hey hold on hold on a minute so this is the final boss fight and you're telling me you're Boom, 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 boom. We somehow have a very efficient jumping strategy that allows you to fire way more shots than usual player would. But this gun does not have that, so you'll have no choice but to wear this boss down slowly. Dodge all of this crap here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Never losing line of sight, even for a second. And of course that was the boss on easy, but that's still... Doing it that quickly, that's still not easy to do. Okay, okay, that was insane. That was absolutely crazy. Not much again you can do here, but I'm very impressed. I'm very, very impressed. I'm linking the original video in the description below, so definitely Go check it out again if you want to re-watch some of this in, in more detail or without my annoying commentary. And I think that was it, right? So, thanks. Thanks for making this and thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you when I have time <laughs> to make another one.